And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Balaur, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord, so thank you. Balaur was a theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Romania in the Hayteg Island, and it's similar in size to Velociraptor. It's estimated to be around 5.9 to 6.9 feet, 1.8 to 2.1 meters long, and it had these two large retractable sickle-shaped claws on each foot, which is different because Velociraptor, for example, only had one. Yeah, that's interesting. Double claws on each foot. Mm -hmm. It re-evolved a functional first toe to help support its weight, which also had the large sickle claw. And this first toe rotated forward and supported the second sickle claw. Balaur had short, stocky feet and legs and large muscle attachment areas on the pelvis, so it was probably strong but not that fast. The limbs were proportionally shorter and heavier compared to its relatives. The curved toe claws are not too curved. They're actually less curved than dromaeosaurids, but they're similar in shape and curvature to Mesozoic birds. Its feet and legs were short and stocky and it had fused bones, and the pubic bones are swept back and they bow outwards. Balaur was secondarily flightless. Like an ostrich, meaning it evolved from flying ancestors. Mm Mm-hmm. And the third digit on its hand was small and probably non-functional. It basically only had two fingers on each hand. The type species is Balaur Bondoc, and the genus name refers to a many-headed dragon in Romanian folklore, sometimes thought to have wings, usually portrayed as evil. And the species name means stocky, so the full name means stocky dragon. And it's named stocky because of its muscles compared to its relatives. It was described in 2010 by Zoltan Ziski and others, and they found two partial skeletons. The first fossils were found in 1997 by Dan Grigorescu. They found parts of the front limbs, though at the time it was thought to be an oviraptorosaur. The arm was so strange it was hard to correctly piece together. Then a partial skeleton was found in 2009, and that became the holotype, and that was found by geologist and paleontologist Matthias Vermeer, who's known for finding many Transylvanian fossils and who also recently passed away in July 2020 at age 50. Balaur was found in the Sebesh Formation in Red Floodplain Medstone. A lot of vertebrae was found, as well as a lot of the pectoral and pelvic girdles and lots of the limbs. The 1997 fossils were from an individual about 45% longer than the holotype, and that one was found in a younger stratum. Siski and others said that its body was, quote, a dramatic example of aberrant morphology developed in island-dwelling taxa. And we all know island dinosaurs tend to be a little strange. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they get really big, sometimes they get really little. (laughs) Yes. Although in this case, it wasn't anything to do with the size, really. So Haytag Island is known as the island of dwarf dinosaurs. For example, there's the dwarf sauropod Magyarosaurus. The strangeness of... Balaur could be because it's an island dinosaur having this island effect, but Balaur wasn't small. It's really hard to classify, though. So over the years, Balaur has been classified as a dromaeosaurid, basal, avian, nothing definitive, though. No skull was found, so it's unclear if it was carnivorous or herbivorous. Originally, it was thought to be carnivorous because originally it was thought to be closely related to Velociraptor. Siski thought that it could have been an apex predator on the island and may have used its claws to slash prey. More recent studies by Denver Fowler and others found that the feet of paravians likely use their claws to pin prey to the ground and then use their proto-wings to stay on top of their prey and then eat their prey while it was alive, like some modern birds. And based on this large first claw infused metatarsus, a group of bones in the foot, Balaur was bird-like and probably a predator. Andrea Kau suggested that Balaur may have been an omnivore or herbivore, however, and that's why it had these strange features. So one example is it's missing the third digit, finger on its hands. Balaur was also short and stocky with a wide pubis, so it may have had large intestines to digest plant matter, and then the claw and large first toe could have helped support its weight. Kau called this the dodo raptor model. But after Fowler's research, Kau said that Balaur may have been a predator. Dodo raptor. Yeah, it's a good name. However, in 2015, Cow and others did a phylogenetic analysis, and while inconclusive, they found that Balaor was closely related to AVL and herbivores, such as Sapiornis and Jeholornis. 
and that the broad pelvic canal and other features were, quote, a combination of features convergently acquired only by the non-predatory clade Therizinosauridae among Mesozoic theropods, end quote, and that Balor may have been herbivorous. So now we've brought Therizinosaurs in. Everything's strange. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's the Therizinosaur of Hattag Island, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe. Those extra claws on its feet were just for defense and not for attacking things. <laughs> <laughs> So Balor's hands were atrophied, so they weren't very useful, and they would have used its feet to get prey if it did that. The claws may have helped it with climbing and perching, so not for slashing prey. And it had a lot of bird-like features, like the fusion of its limb bones, the big first toes, and the first toe claw being similar in size to the second toe claw. So it's either an herbivore or a carnivore, and it either used its extra claw for hunting or not. And it might have been an omnivore as well. (laughs) No skull makes it very difficult to know. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. 